You know, geeks don't do speeches regularly, so I'm going to have some notes with me. I have to tell you, so first off, thank you, Mayor, for your tremendous leadership on this project. Thank you, Mark, and um, the Google Fiber team. We're so excited. I'm a little biased because I really can't think of a better location to have an announcement like this than at Geekdom. Our mission at Geekdom is to create an ecosystem, a tech ecosystem, where the next rack space can be born. And that mission statement is really about the next 7,000 jobs. And so when I look at the roadmap and the trajectory of Google Fiber, I know that we are talking about the same thing. Um, there is a lot of work to be done, as Mark alluded to. The Google Fiber team is going to be very busy. Uh, as someone undergoing some construction, you've got to get your permits in order. If there's anything in, uh, historical, yikes. Uh, <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. You know, this is not the first time, though, that something game changes in technology has hit San Antonio. This has happened before. And about 10 years ago, sorry, I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> about 10 years ago, in a little data center a block away, the first servers of YouTube came online. We have rich internet history, rich internet tech history in our city, and this is one of those game-changing milestones. And I'm super excited to be a part of it. So when you think about Google Fiber and you think about the San Antonio tech scene, they really do go together, like two peas in a pod. Or if you're in San Antonio, like beans and rice. <laughs> so Geekdom currently has over 700 members and over 400 companies represented here. And I believe that one of the, reason, one of the reasons that these entrepreneurs choose our ecosystem is because we are a city on the rise. San Antonio is a city on the rise. It's a city you can build. And very few people get to build a city in their lifetime. And when you look at what's going on here, it's something really exciting that people want to be a part of. And that is really what is getting compounded with the introduction of a service like Google Fiber. We talk about the ecosystem, and what we live to do every day at Geekdom in 8020 is to expand and accelerate the ecosystem. Um, it is one of the top priorities for Graham Weston. And in order to do that, one of the ways that he decided to help accelerate that was to create uh, the 8020 Foundation, which is a private foundation that gives money to public charities in three key areas, STEM education, entrepreneurship, and the redevelopment of downtown San Antonio. So when I look again at Google Fiber, its trajectory, its mission, I realize that everything they're doing hits our three cause areas. And I want to walk you briefly through one example in each one of those. First, entrepreneurship. There's a really great story about Google Fiber going into Kansas City. And when they uh, implemented their service there, there was a house that got connected to their service that had a couple of entrepreneurs living in it. And these entrepreneurs called themselves the Kansas Startup Village. Right? What a great name. I would have totally stole that if I'd heard it uh, first. And when they did this, they realized that this was a game-changing service. They realized that they were able to iterate and innovate faster than they had ever done before. And so they started spreading the word, they started telling their friends and colleagues, and the village began to grow. And today, over 25 companies are now housed in this startup village in Kansas City. And now there are companies that pick up and relocate there, partially for the Google Fiber service, but mostly to be a part of this entrepreneurial ecosystem. And that's exactly what we're building here, and that's exactly what's going to happen in San Antonio. The next is STEM education. You know, in San Antonio, there are dozens of uh, local nonprofits, including Girls Inc., The Geek Bus, San Antonio Prep and Venture Lab, that are dedicated to helping our youth learn science, technology, uh, engineering, and math. Google Fiber can help this work along, not only by developing partnerships with some of these groups, but also by providing affordable internet access to students at home. In many of the Google Fiber cities, they've developed unique programs to help spearhead affordable internet access, including the Connect Home program that was recently launched by Secretary of Housing, Juliana Castro. Um, at the 8020 Foundation, we are very proud to be one of the founding sponsors of that program to help bring that initiative here to San Antonio. I know that the Google giving strategy looks very different in every city, depending on the unique needs of the community, but they have already hired someone local that is going to figure out our community and the best ways to be a part of that. Today, I want to challenge them and other providers to bring the best that they have to San Antonio. I think that you'll find that we are willing and ready partners. The last thing I want to talk about is urban development. For the past two years, 
our team at 8020 has published a report called San Antonio Under Construction. And the premise of this report, um, which dovetails really well with my, what Mayor Taylor was saying, is envisioning the future of our city. You know, Steve Jobs once said, imagine a thousand songs in your pocket. When we release this port, we want our city to imagine the San Antonio of the future. When you look at all of the construction projects, all of the renderings that are out there, you can see the San Antonio of five years from now, today. What an exciting project. What an exciting time. Google Fiber can be the connector of all of those projects. It could be the backbone tech that brings all of these to life in a way that we never thought imaginable. So it's clear to me that Google Fiber brings a lot of potential for impact to our city. But at the end of the day, it's up to us as San Antonians to determine how gigabit internet and any other resources can help make our city even more vibrant than it is today. And that's what I'm the most excited about with this announcement. That once again, we get to come together as a city um, using this resource and continue the momentum we have in becoming a city on the rise. Thank you very much. That's all for the official formal part of our program. I want to thank Mark and the Google Fiber team for their hard work. Um, we couldn't be more excited to be partners with them. I also want to thank Mayor Ivy Taylor for her tremendous leadership in this. We're so humbled um, to be a part of this. I want to thank City Council for your leadership as well. Um, we have such an amazing team and it's, part, it's great to be a partner with uh, an outstanding A team like we have down at City Hall. I want to thank the City Manager as well for all of her leadership. Um, we're such a tremendous asset and we really appreciate it. Uh, we have some instructions for the press uh, before you leave, so um, if you're any reporters that want to stay and do follow-up questions, we have some protocol for you, and Levente from the Google Fiber team is going to give you your instructions. Thank you.